inconsistencies. Um, everyone knows that I have a different debating style, um, that I do not have a background, you know, Sam was born in the Middle East and he's a little bit on the, uh, you know, uh, fiery side. And he and I have had conversations about that very issue. And, uh, so he hears things differently than I do. You know, Sam was born in the Middle East, and he's a little bit on the, uh, you know, uh, fiery side. Jesus was from the Middle East. That makes him Middle Eastern. Tried having this conversation with a gentleman in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Didn't go smooth. No, I said, you know, Jesus was Middle Eastern. What? No, he was Middle Eastern. He was what? How is he white if he's from the Middle East? There are a lot of white people in the Middle East. White people with blonde hair and blue eyes. I'm like, yeah, soldiers and Anderson Cooper. a tremendous amount of disrespect I could understand that being up on the ladder was no ordinary form of evangelism but I was still uncomfortable with the tribalistic shouting that seemed to be so prevalent as the debate went on and I've been told that this was a relatively tame crowd by normal standards. But should Christians at least be participating in this kind of shouting match? I put my concerns to Jay. There were moments when I felt like it was almost more pantomime than a debate or evangelism when, when they were chanting and then you were getting your side of the crowd to chant. It makes people maybe take it not so seriously. Actually, it's very serious. That is very serious. It's not serious for Europeans. And for Europeans, they don't like it. Two or three times a month, someone comes up to us with tears in their eyes, say, would you stop what you're doing? That's not Christ-like. And I can almost, almost invariably assume that they're British or they're European. But I'm not here for Europeans. Never do I hear an Asian or an Arab ever say that to me. They come up and they shake my hands and they stroke my hands and say, God bless you. They love that. Because what it is, is claiming the ground. It's claiming territory, verbally vocally. That's why the Muslims do it all the time. It's very cultural. In their culture, the louder you are, the more boisterous you are, the more confident you look and sound, the stronger your argument is. In their culture, the louder you are, the more boisterous you are, the more confident you look and sound, the stronger your argument is. That's why at the end of every of his talks, he yelled, Allahu Akbar, Takbir, and he yelled, Allahu Akbar. That was basically to underline and to solidify his point. So I was doing it in kind because I knew in doing that, I was giving confidence to Christians, but I was claiming the ground for Jesus Christ verbally. Now, Europeans hate that because it does look frivolous. Some Western ideals. Example. And there's so many different horror stories that you'll hear overseas in the Middle East of women that have been abused, women that are victims. Now, of course, this isn't, a, you can't take one case like this and characterize this for all of Islam and all of Muslims. In truth, I've met very nice Muslims and Muslims that have exactly taken uh, some Western ideals in terms of equality, in terms of how you ought to treat a woman and so forth.
the truth, I've met very nice Muslims and Muslims that have exactly taken uh, some Western ideals in terms of equality, in terms of how you ought to treat a woman and so forth. Uh, some Western ideals. In Unfortunately, this seems to have also a cultural element to it that I do not understand. Uh, Walid Shabbat is Middle Eastern. And many people with a Middle Eastern mindset confuse the loudness of the rhetoric and the temperature of the language used with demonstration of truth. So if you yell loud and you insult your opponent, appropriately, you win. By the way, did you see the, the um, Yaya Snow video accusing me of bigotry? You know what it was? He accused a bunch of people of bigotry. All it was was Jay Smith and I both sort of noticed the same thing. And that is, and this is, just, this is just fact. This isn't bigotry. This is a fact. Middle Eastern people argue differently than Londoners. Um, for Middle Eastern people, the, the volume of your voice is directly relevant to the confidence you have in expressing it. And things that we Westerners do not find at all convincing, a lot of Middle Easterners do find convincing. Uh, and not because it's logical, but because it is part of the argumentation. And that's not bigotry. That's, that's, a, that's observation of absolute fact. No one, no one who's ever... I mean, everyone has seen it. It's, it's obvious. Yeah, yes, no. I, I believe Yaya's purpose in life is to just simply muddy the waters and try to keep any meaningful conversation from happening between serious Christians and serious Muslims. I really do. Um, they watch this program. Hi, Yaya. How you doing? I don't know why you do what you're doing, but I really do not have any respect for what you do. Um, really find it. If you want bigotry, I think that anyway. Um,